right, so uh, we're gonna do a little bit of cooking simulator, and um, well, uh, I'm kind of coinciding this with the fact that I have a lot of stories about this and that and blah 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 and it's food related stuff so i figured why not also do cooking simulator stream with it so uh you know any anyway uh yo man did you actually prank call anyone with that shit my pants stuff the other day no i, I didn't prank call anybody see see i i'm just about i'm just a little too old to be prank calling like when you're like 10 it's fine uh, because, you know, you prank call McDonald's, which I have done, uh, and you're like, I want the poop burger, I want the poo poo in the boon, and they're like, we're gonna call the police on you, and you're like, no! And, it, like, they wouldn't give a shit, but now they would. They would be like, you're gonna get the electric chair for this. Poop burger, uh-uh, not, not here, man. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're gonna do some cooking simulator, all that stuff. So uh, yeah, let me go put this on the screen. Ah, oh, God. You you know you know what it was a shame. Like time goes so by so fucking quick these days. But two years ago, I called about the Fortnite burger, right? And I never uploaded that fucking stream. And I was like, that's fucking just like burning Elmo. I should have done that. I should have done that. Because that was mildly funny. It wasn't funny, but it was like slightly just a little little nuance of comedy, you know? So, uh, you know, upload it. See, see, sometimes it's funnier in my head. And then I actually watch stuff and it's even funnier. So, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I what I've noticed is, uh, what I've noticed is that uh, a lot of prank calling is, uh, if they play along, it's almost like you you don't want to do it because it's almost like oh, oh, I, I, oh, it's almost like you get you getting prank called back in a way, you know. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know, uh, but they can also be very fun. You guys remember the ventrilo harassment videos? About I got a ring in there last night, and they're all laughing along. Then it becomes a whole, whole different kind of comedy where it's just like this is just fucking hysterical, you know. Bows, 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 bows of steel. You know. Anyway, let's. Uh, wait, I don't have fucking steam open. Oh, there we go. Ah, all right, cooking simulator. I've still not put in my second monitor, so you know. Anyway, the best prank calls involve being believable, so the person doesn't catch on. Well, that's the problem. I I cannot prank call people because I'm one of those motherfuckers that it's so funny in my head. I have it in my head before I say it, and it's just like it's ten times funnier in my head before I say it. So I sound like wet toilet paper paper before I uh, before I say it. So within seconds, it's just you know, it's ruined. All right. See, th th this is good and all that. It's good and all that, but honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some better music for this. All right, I'll show I'll sh I'll show you music that I want to be cooking with. <sighs> you ready? Now this. Now this. Now we're talking. I cook, I swag, I cook, I swag, I cook, I swag. I should probably just like show the video to this. It's just a little bee, uh, like wrapping around a Christmas tree. And I fucking love this song. I swag, I cook, and it goes on for like 25 minutes, you know? I cook, I swag, I cook, I chef, I chef. Enough of that, enough of that. I chef. Whoop. Alright, anyway. Wait, wait a minute, MP3 music path. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <sighs> now, 
No, no fucking UFO porno, please. Listen, we have enough of that on the other streams. We don't need both, all right? <laughs> I, I will need, uh, see, see if I, what I can do here, uh, that would be, g guys, good video game cooking music. Video game cooking music, what, what would be appropriate here? Spider-Man 2 pizza theme? Yeah, but, like, honestly, I could just queue that up anyway on YouTube, like, it, 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 I don't necessarily need it in-game, so, you know, the, 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 this joke doesn't need to be a thing. Let's just, let's just move on, alright? Let's just have it as has as is. All right, new game. So uh, I believe uh, I believe I was gifted the DLC for the Cooking Food Network. So, uh, but I'm gonna, not going to do that yet. I'm still going to just be checking this out. Uh, let's do career mode. Let's do career mode. The ultimate cooking challenge. Prove yourself by single-handedly turning a Laosian no-star diner into a luxury five-star restaurant. Test your skills against time as orders and pressure build, piles up. Use perks and skills to cut corners and jump start your career by mastering new recipes. Just remember, keep calm and cook on. All right, I can do that. I'm scared. But oh. Why should I be scared when... I swear, I cook, I swear, I cook, I swear, I cook, I swear, I cook, I swear. Welcome to Cooking Simulator. As you've already noticed, uh, the restaurant you're now employed in does not have the greatest rating. Your task is to restore it to its former glory and reach the highest level of prestige. The last chef left the kitchen covered in sticky notes. Maybe they'll be some use to you. Okay. Within an hour, we'll be open for business. An hour? Jesus. What? what, what okay. Okay, well. Uh, I wonder. Hang on. Oh, I need the actual music, as in... Oh, okay, hang on. But is the music also like... Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Because if it's a pro... Okay, whatever. Let's see here. Uh, skip preparation phase. F I really am timed on this. Uh, fuck... Uh... uh what, what, what preparation phase? What fucking notes? What are you talking about? Skip, skip. No, no, I want to. Okay, chill out. Where are the notes? Where are the sticky notes? Am I blind? Where the fuck are they? Uh. Help? I mean, skip. <laughs> Look, someone ordered a dish. Okay, every time a client orders something, you'll be notified. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Notified. Okay. Uh, have... A uh, notification will also appear when you only have a minute left to complete the dish. Uh, okay. Alright. Tomato soup. Add to a pot. Chicken broth, salt, black pepper, ca cayenne, tomato, onion. Okay, I, I can do this. I can do this. Um, no problem. Alright, let's get the tomatoes out. M money. Try not to go bankrupt. Almost everything in the kitchen costs money. Plates, products, and special repairs. Don't take more than you need and keep an eye out on your balance. Okay, not not a problem. How many how many tomatoes do we need? Uh, we need uh, 960 tomatoes. All right, not a problem. Not a problem. Is this joke funny? You know, nine without reading like. The grams. <laughs> it's funny to me, damn it. <laughs> okay. What happens what happens if I just don't do improvise the recipe? Because cooking is all about improvisation. Alright, here we go. Uh so chicken broth, salt, black pepper, cayenne, tomato, onion, boil for sixty seconds. Uh pour the liquid, okay. All right. Well, let me let me prepare these. Let me prepare these. All right. Here we go. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the best job of 
of making soup, all right? All right. Now the key ingredient to making soup is, uh, it's all powders. Soup is powders plus water. Uh, because that's how soup is made. When I buy soup at the store, uh, it's all on a powder. So we need to really crunch this into really fine little bits. I would put all these underneath, uh, like a, uh, bowling, bowling ball and like, uh, and, and like a plastic bag. And this, it would be very fine to crush, but that, that's, that's finally crushed enough. All right. So now we need, uh, <laughs> a big pot. Here we go. Oh, we should probably put put some water in it first. Uh, let's see. Let's put it under the tap. Oh, the tap's under here. There, <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. <laughs> you need a lot of water <laughs> when you're making soup. All right. You know it's good when it feels like you're holding an anvil. All right. There we go. That's good enough. All right, and then you. <laughs> it's like that. I <laughs> do that. And leave the water on because, uh,. You know, we live, we live, we live in a high fancy kitchen, and I'm not paying for it. So there we go. No, I'm not putting the tap water off. It, it, you know, it, it's ASMR. There we go. And and every good, every good thing here needs. Uh, what is the what is the secret ingredient <laughs> to soup? And I'll tell you what it is. Now, a lot of chefs, a lot of chefs will uh, tell you I'm wrong about this, but uh, frankly. They don't know anything, uh, and that, my friends, is uh, a raw onion. A raw onion is great. Uh, keep throwing raw <laughs> onions. <laughs> no, not a potato. Fuck off. Uh, how do how do I throw this again? Uh, there we go. Now, for real cool, make a really cool soup. Throw the raw onion into it from a distance. Now, if you're able to do this, it makes for a better soup. <laughs> Hang on. Shit, okay. <laughs> this is fuck. Okay. Oh, son! It skidded! It went, you know. It didn't go in, but it, it, almost. Okay, one more, one more. Fuck! Last attempt, last attempt. Okay, one more, one more. Fuck! I, I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, whatever the case, whatever the case. Uh, so put up here, uh, and, uh, what we're we making again? Gas. No, no, not that. Uh, now, um, what they don't teach at culinary school, and trust me, I've taken several courses in this, is that, uh, they don't, they don't know the secret umami flavors that is unlocked in certain, certain, um, palates. And that's, uh, uh, porcelain. Porcelain is a key ingredient, so what you do is you throw in bits of shard in here. Uh, and that's for crown. That's ex- oh shit. Fuck my water. You know what, you know what, you don't even need water, because uh, water just evaporates, alright? Soup is eternal, water is not, so fuck, fuck. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> this is really supposed to be called dry soup, and <laughs> you need a lot of uh, what else would do? We need <laughs> gas. <laughs> so, uh, 
So I'm not sure how gas works, but uh, it's uh, they just hurry up. Oh shit! Fuck! Hang on, I'm on top of this. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. I'm throwing my rest of my onions here. There we go. And there we go. Let me prepare. <laughs> Let me, uh, how many, how much? Th 30 fucking seconds, Jesus. Bowl, bowl, bowl. Uh, what, what, big bowl. Uh, perfect. There we go. How how we doing here? Are we doing good? Are we doing good? Yeah, we're doing good. All right. And uh, what else can I? Uh, hey, more onions. Shit. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Oh fuck! I'm a little. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Oh shit. Okay. Hang on. Okay, that's good enough. That is good enough. New order. Okay, that is my soup. Uh, let me, let, let me cool it down now. Let me cool it down now. Let me cool it down now, all right? Hang on. Shit, shit. I'm in... I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here, so... I think that's good enough. Okay, there we go. All right. And now... The moment of truth, everybody. Moment of truth. You take the blender. <laughs> you serve. You serve this slop up. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Shit. No, no, fuck. Let me just put, put God damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what what is this? Serve dish. <laughs> I think that was one of the onions. That was you not even cook it. You go to a fucking fancy restaurant and all you get is a raw fucking onion. <laughs> the fucking chef in the kitchen had a stroke. Guest complaints. What's this? <laughs> Oh, 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 that onion was good. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 they, they paid for it? Guest paid? Wait, wait, no, they didn't pay for it, but what, 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 what about the complaints was perfect. But what, what the, no, they did, they, what, what? So, wait, but, what, what, so wait, you, you fucking, you ate my food, <clears throat> you ate my raw onion and said, this is perfect, but then you didn't pay for it. This is a robbery. This this is a this is a thief on the run. This is this is a, like a murderer, all right? Okay, that's bullshit, all right? I got a good realization time, all right? Well, for my first dish, that was not so good, but hey, at least we can do a salmon steak and boiled potatoes, all right? I can do that right now, in fact. I, whoa. Okay, hang on. Let me... There we go. Alright, so... This salmon is, is a classic recipe. Uh, salmon is... 
is a very versatile way of, of dealing with fish. And here's what I propose. Sushi! <laughs> Guess completely perfect! <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see, what, let's see what else I'm doing. Any more orders here? New order. Baked trout. Okay. Let's take this seriously for once. Let's take this seriously for once. All right. Uh, here's, here's what you do. Uh, trout is is uh, is a it's a very versatile fish as well. I can do a lot of stuff with trout. Uh, but really, the the best way of doing this is to microwave it. And he, how you do this is you microwave it for. <laughs> two minutes and then uh, What else do they want they want uh, a Lemon okay, I can I can do that I can do I can get him a lemon And let's see here parsley uh, See that's that's a cool spice what's even better is uh it's a lot of salt. Salt, salt is better. Uh, where's my spatula, by the way? Can I see my spatula? So took my spatula. I need to. I need to flip my lemon. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Now we need to flip it. Yeah, it's been flipped. All right. Here we go. All right. So, I mean, it, it, it's cooked all right. It's cooked all right. All right. Uh, let's see. How much? How many? <laughs> how many? Much time do I have left? Five minutes. Goddamn. All right. Uh, Let's see, cut the lemons into quarters, transfer onto plate. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Let me get this onto the cooking board. There we go. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's gonna be a little complicated, but... No, no, stop it. St stop it. Okay, there we go. I'm really trying here. <laughs> Yo, something's off with my knife. It's it's being a bastard. You quit it. This is an impossible lemon. What the hell is this? I've created like an anti-lemon. Fucking Lidl knife. What is this? But fuck, fuck this knife, dude. Go right in my my my, my bucket. All right. All right. Whoa. Ooh. I don't know how this happened, but uh. Okay. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new monitor. Okay. Uh. Anyway. My trout is ready. 
Let me get my, uh... Let me get, let me get my, uh... Lemon, lemony piece. Shit, 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 shit. Hang on. Okay, it's always hard to do this. There we go. Okay. Plop. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we just need, uh... To, uh... Salt it. A little bit on the lemon, too. That's sweet and sour, basically, you know. So, how was your day? Did you have, uh... Did you, did you, did you have a good day? Spice it up! Okay, that should be enough. That should be enough. Alright, now, there's something missing from this. I, I know. Whoa. And that's a little bit of water. It, it's a garnish for the dish, and it really makes it, you know? So... We wash it. Wash the, uh... Wash the trout. And once that's done, uh, your, your lemon uh, is on the floor. There we go. And that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Let's see here. Baked trout. How did I do? Taste. Overall score. I chef, 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 I well, there we go. We're no longer taking orders today. Finish what you started and get ready for tomorrow. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Finish what I started? Started what? I'm done. Day one. Okay. Kicking some ass. Kicking some ass. L leave the sink running all night. That way, you, you wake up in the morning and... Uh... You check if the mail system works, so you have a bill, you know. I got a perk, skilled, fast feet. <laughs> Slow motion. Uh, pick up and carry hot ingredients in your hands. That, that, seems, that, that seems like what I would need. Whatever, just start the next one, please. So now I'm going to be burning my hands. Okay, that, that's, that's how this is going to go. All right. We'll be open business. Use the time to get ready for work. All right, you got it. Who left the fucking sink running? What a genius! All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Who? Who wants to get an order in? Oh, tomato soup again. Tomato soup. All right, I can I can deal with potato tomato soup. But what's potato tomato? Green beans, potatoes, tomatoes. So we're making tomato soup. Make a tomato soup. Let me show you how you create tomato soup. Just like that. And you need a lot of sunflower oil. And we get this on. And we start pouring. And now we just gotta... Maybe not enough, but... Uh... Come on, come on, come on, a little bit more now. Making a mess, alright, whatever. You know what, the glass... shit. The glass will add texture, whatever, you know, it's... It's for crowns, the crowns, you know what I mean? And, um, as we all know, uh, the best, 
the best way of deep frying something, I mean making soup, is uh, water. Deep fried water is a key ingredient in many fine establishments around the world. And I'll show you when you combine oil, hot oil and water, that creates uh, water too. It's very nice. It's like that. And once we're done with that, we throw in a raw onion into the oil mixture and then we start frying it. Uh. Swag, swag. All right. Got five minutes to go, though. Oh, I forgot, you gotta salt the oil too. You know, that's the secret ingredient. So you gotta, gotta salt, you gotta salt, you gotta salt, you know. That is a important ingredient. And there we go, there we go. That is pretty much it. That is a, that is a good one. Gotta get the glass in there, glass is classic. And uh, deep fried salt is also a bit of a classic. Uh, and, uh, and don't forget the leftovers from yesterday, the lemon. Now, once you're done with that, uh, you put it in, in a soup bowl. Soup bowl is importante. There we go. Put that down. There we go. Now, I know what you guys are saying. You're saying, like, for fuck's sake, Joel, just follow the goddamn recipe. And I'll, I'll be the first to admit... Okay, maybe the recipes haven't been completely accurate. So, I will remedy it. Okay? I will make this a little bit more accurate because I know you guys are saying, come on, just take it seriously. And I am. See, this is what you do. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Ah, keep, keep throwing it in there. There we go. And a little bit of raw onion for, for texture, you know. Okay. Uh, and now, the magic happens. So. Gotta crunch it up. Gotta... We got a crunch. We got a crunch. You gotta really get in there, you know. You gotta really. <laughs> no, okay, well. So you soak, you soak the salmon in the. In the in the the mess you made, and uh, uh, then then you uh, realize that uh oh, uh, d don't worry, don't worry, uh, it it can be salvaged, it can be salvaged, because uh, we have this oh, oh my hand, my hand, my hand, my hand, my hand, my hand, my hand. There we go, a deep fried onion. You throw that in there. And now the magic happens, boys. So you gotta... Gotta really blend that onion together. Blend that onion. There we go. Now the onion has been blended. Uh, throw in a little bit of salmon in there, too. Salmon adds texture, you know. Gotta plop it down. And you really gotta blend that salmon. Uh, <sighs> I 
You gotta keep. You gotta keep blending. Okay, okay. Panic. Say so here. Okay, you want you want soup? You want a, you want tomato soup? All right, I'll get you tomato soup. Turbo mode, baby. Fuck! I dropped it. Okay. Fuck. 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 Fuck it. Fuck it. How much? How much? Twenty seconds. Oh, he paid for it. Wrong amount of product. Oh, okay. Well, everybody, we made twenty-seven cents. That, my friends, is a good. Hot tomato soup. Hey, we got another order for uh, salmon steak and boiled potatoes. Okay, seriously, this is giving me anxiety to listen to. <laughs> okay, um. Alright, so we're gonna make some salmon here. We're gonna make some salmon here, right? There. So now, uh. Let's see what we got here. We got lemons. We got chicken broth, salmon fillet. Okay, well, I'll I'll show you how we do this right there. Really, all the fish, all fish is the same. Microwave the shit out of it. <laughs> and put on, put on high, put on high. How do I put it on high? Uh, there we go. High. We gotta really blast this guy. How much? How much uh, time do we have? Six minutes. Six minutes. Okay, what what would make this dish? What I need a good garnish for it. I need a good garnish, you know. I need something that'll really really make it, you know. Hmm. Basil. Uh No, there's something I can do better with it. Uh <laughs> a firecracker. Uh, well, I don't have all the ingredients. Not not this one, but uh, hmm. Good lord, good lord. All right, let's see here. Um, I think horseradish would do. Horseradish would be good for this. All right. Well, whatever. <gasps> there it is. That's what it is. That's what I need. That is what I'm talking about. That, my friends, is what makes the dish. The secret ingredients. All right. I mean, I think that's good enough. It's good enough, really. And look at that. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Now we just got to... Gotta cool it down. Gotta cool it down. You gotta cool it down. You gotta cool down the dish. And you gotta cool down yourself too, really. Because it gets hot in the kitchen. Hot, hot, hot. And there we go. And you don't want any flavor on your food either. That's that's MSG and that's bad for you. All right, here we go. Let's see here. Uh, overall score. Oh, this one was not as good. Did not enjoy this one. But the flavors were perfect. And the temperature was perfect too. So, um, all right. All right. Interesting. All right. Let's see if we get one more order in. 
Ah, baked trout. I think we did this one already, but all right. All right, let's... Uh, what if we just do this? What if we just do this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> this is what I like to refer to as a omega-3 hyper smoothie. Hyper smoothies will... You drink one of these and you're good for the whole year. Really? Um, and... Uh, there we go. <laughs> This is for the gamer on the go. <laughs> there we go. Dude, I've made semen. <laughs> I've made a jug of cum. Dude, this is a protein shake, all right? <laughs> all, I, all I can think is... I know this sounds disgusting, but the most disgusting part is... I don't know if this gets to anyone else, but... It's just the fact that the ice are still in there, on the trout. That is what's the worst for me when I'm thinking about this. Not the fact that it's whole fish. It's the eyeballs in particular that, that are is like fucking me up. Okay. Um, okay. This is one thing that freaks me out. Is when people grill whole fish and the eyes are like melting. That's like it's fucked up. All right. Okay. Okay, guys. What would be what would be more disgusting? Serving this raw or like boiling it? <laughs> Boil it. I have, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking fish. Holy shit. I have a, I have a, I have a one slightly better idea than that, right? I can I think that's enough. I think that's enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he knew it. <laughs> he knew it. <laughs> Wait, shit. Wrong one. There we go. Okay, I have a slightly better idea here, and it's fucking disgusting. Hear me out. Uh, cut it. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna suck. Can I just. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, no, my gamer juice is spilling out. Okay. Now we take that and we fucking microwave it. <laughs> So we gotta we gotta nuke the cum. Uh, we gotta nuke the cum, and then once you do that, you've created life. It's like the, the scene in Star Wars. The midi chlorians. 
he could use the power of the dark side to create life. Master! I really want to save Padme. Young Anakin, all you got to do is microwave the semen. Okay. I love that part of Star Wars. Me too. Okay. Uh... How we doing? Is it hot? It, it's hot, all right. All right. Now, there's just needs to be something a little extra on this, and that, my friends, it's a big shard of glass. It's fine. A little spill never hurt anybody. All right. Here is your. Uh, <laughs> Come soup, sir. No, I didn't like that one. Guest complaints. Per <laughs> what can I say, guys? I'm a natural. I chef. I chef. Swag, swag, swag. That was the last door for the guys. I, I am, I am a gamer and a chef. Skip cleaning face. What, what, what is there to clean? What is there to clean here? Uh. So I, I just gotta wash, wash my, my, my thing here. I'm gonna build a house. Look at these look at these physics, man. Dead or alive, there's nothing on this. Look at look at look at them tits and ass physics, huh? Look at that door. Okay, uh Alright, well there, there we go. That's that's my day. That is my day. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Shoot some skills. Uh, I don't need to shoot any skills because I'm the best already. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem, no problem. I I love this system, by the way. Uh, tomato soup again. This Doom Three cursor on screen thing has always like been been a big big thing for me. I always love this. All right, so today we're gonna do uh, tomato soup again, which I think is bullshit. So what we're gonna do instead? We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna use some gas in the oven because gas in the oven is uh, how the chefs do it. Now you really gotta squeeze in the gas in in the oven here. Gotta really. Squeeze it in. Now, if you break, if you break your oven, uh, don't worry about it. It's just a little setback. Okay, hang on. Let me. Okay, it didn't work out. But I tell you what will. I tell you what will. Do I have any foil? Do I have any foil or uh, such? Yeah. Can I bring up the... Ah, uh, yes. Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joel Tech, Tech Power 69. Well, my, 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 my uh, phone. It's a new iPhone. iPhone iPhone explosion. Subscribe to YouTube. <laughs> boo, boo. <laughs> oh, welcome back to my tutorial on Charger Microsoft Blackberry.
And once you're done with that, you make calls. But really, you, you really gotta wash your phone too. Huh? We gotta... Wait, repair? Why am I repairing it? No, no, just give it a bath. Alright, so... What I wanna do now is I wanna... I wanna deep fry some gas. You need to grab a phone and fix our right fire. Who are you? I'm trying to deep fry the gas here. Mm. You can't be using that right fry. Fix it before someone gets sick. Well, I'm sick of you. Maybe I gotta. You just gotta flip it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, hang on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And then we... Okay. Okay. It didn't work out. Okay, well... Use the other one. Let's use the other one then. There we go. Okay, be careful. Be careful when we do this. We gotta be careful when we do this. We don't want to have an accident. We do not want to have an accident. Accidents bad. Gas good. There we go! Alright, uh, now we're, we're grilling the gas. Grill, grill, grill. Uh, I can't tell if, if this is on or... Alright. So when your oil behaves badly, you gotta, you gotta really, uh, you gotta smack it like, no, bad, 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 bad. That's not what I told you to do. I told you to deep fry the gas. Bad, bad, bad. Nay, 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 nay. So uh, once you've done that, you can then start cooking, but it's still working. Uh, so now we're gonna deep fry uh, some salt again. What I'm talking about? Hey, look at that. What's this? What is this? I have made a gun. Okay, what is this? This is, uh... What is this? Is this a sauna? <laughs> okay, well there we go. It's a hot plate. Okay, well, uh... You wanted to make a soup, right? Alright, don't worry about it. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Get you some soup. Now uh, this looks like a mess, I know. But, check this out, boys. Now, if I get complaints about this, that's because you don't have a palate. Oh, take. Well, obviously the man has taste. Damn, that's some good ass water. Well, what can I say, boys? You get enough cooking boys to unlock a new recipe. Thanks, Gordon. <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. Okay. New order, huh? Why is the same recipe every time? It's kind of stupid. All right. I'm just going to call it there. I'm going to call it there. I'm going to do creative mode because... Yeah. The Food Network. Yeah. Food Network. So this is, this is an actual American channel, right? The Food Network. Yeah. And that's where all the the Paula Deans uh, and stuff like that are, are making like baked water and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. So this is a sponsored DLC. Uh, I didn't buy this. It was gifted to me. And uh, yeah. Oh fuck! Hang on. Keep. Hang on.
Uh, uh, Sorry, I dropped my Pepsi on my floor. Okay, cool. Hey, everybody, we got a new order. We got sweet and sour pork. Sweet and sour pork. Okay, well, uh, oh. Alright, uh, so, 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 uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got, uh, uh, what is this, hang on, what is this? How do I, like, zoom in, I forgot, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, 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 well. Hello, uh, Chef Joel here with another classic recipe. Sweet, sweet town is back in town, everybody. Well, I'm just here to tell you all about my new favorite recipe called, uh, uh, poo poo pee pee soup. You may stop clapping. Well, f for my first recipe, uh, I will be attempting, uh, uh, it's a bit of a bit of a family recipe. This one, uh, this one, this one is uh, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Uh, who wants some beer? I think I think I think uh, you'll do with the beer the most, Grandma, because uh, frankly, uh, out of all you guys, you guys uh, look like most alcoholic. All right, to our second recipe here. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Grandma's died. All right. Uh, <coughs> um, all right, for our, uh, uh, second or third recipe, we'll be attempting uh, a bit of a classic. We're gonna make a nuclear reactor. We're gonna make a nuclear reactor, everybody. Uh, so join me uh, as I try to stabilize the uh, warp warp core uh, from exploding. Uh, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be quite the endeavor. So uh, here we go. Now uh, we did it, guys. We have prevented a, a nuclear disaster. Isn't that amazing? Aww. Now, I want to thank you all for <laughs> I want to thank you all for being such an incredible audience here tonight, uh, and thus I will be giving out free pasta for being such an incredible audience, everybody. So, uh, who wants a raw tortellini? Would anybody like a, a raw tortellini? Raw tortellini, everybody. Uh, well, that's amazing. You gotta keep it down, man. Well, everybody, that was the Joel Show, everybody. Now, I'll see you guys next week for more delicious recipes and more recipes how to make drugs. I'll see you next time, and don't forget to, uh... Uh, uh don't forget to, uh, n wipe. Oh, I mean... Bye! -bye. Let's do another uh, sandbox thing. <laughs> That's like the worst thing. Okay. 
so what are, what are we doing tonight? I'll tell you what we should be doing. We're gonna using we're gonna be using the tongs here. Okay, how do I snip? How do I snip again? How do I go snap snap? I wanna pinch some dudes. I like <laughs> I like that people in chat are doing worried emotes like, oh no, he's gonna snip me too. <laughs> he's gonna pinch me. <laughs> me? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> he's coming, dude. <laughs> Who wants to get snipped? Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Uh, <laughs> please, John, no, no pinch. <laughs> left click, John? Or is this just left click? Yeah, no, it isn't. Okay. Okay, I w I'm gonna sim. I'm gonna simulate. I'm gonna simulate what that feels like. All right. But how do I like thwack it? No shit. I, I always r wrestle with these controls. <laughs> there we go. Oh, damn it. <sighs> wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I just got an idea. Wait, hang on. Hang on. No, 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 we're not going down this road. Uh, well, guys, where, where's the eggs? There's eggs in this, right? That's a, that's a produce, so, uh, egg. Here we go. La 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 Okay. What the fuck? That was not how I intended that. That's not how I intended that. What, what what would be the heaviest thing to throw? What would be the heaviest thing to throw here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> myself? Shut the fuck up! No, no, I, I need like. Well, I can't use this because it's gonna be on the floor, you know. No, this doesn't work. Yet. The gas can. I th just threw the gas can. Okay, I need to remove the TV. Here. Jesus Christ! Hang on, let me let me put this somewhere safe. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, but I, I, well, I mean, honestly, oh, 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 no, the, the, the balls have been crushed, everybody. Okay. Ouch. So I did really get him. Okay, uh. Let me let, let me let me see what what is the best ingredient I can do right now. Uh, uh, you guys ever seen the, the picture of the hot dog with the toothpaste? I was gonna do something like that, but that'd be a little too on the nose. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ooh, 
Ooh, hello. Wait, wait a minute. Can I make pumpkin faces? Every day like Halloween. Welcome pumpkin faces. Okay. Well, I mean, this isn't really what I... No, 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 this is... <laughs> I mean, his face is sliced off now, but... I want to make a scary pumpkin, you know? This isn't scary. Well, I kind of see a face. Well, th th but that's not really, like, what... what <laughs> uh, I was gonna do. He doesn't have a face yet. But how... Hang on. <laughs> I was gonna say, is there any glue in this game? Like, no. There's no fucking glue. But, hang on. What if I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What would what the closest thing? Use mayo, okay? I just wanna, like, take this and put it on that, you know what I mean? Uh... I mean, I guess I can, if I make him flat enough... But then I just make a pizza, you know? Like, no. Wait, what, wait a minute. No, I mean... Does this fit? No, 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 it doesn't fit. I love that Jack's theme has become some sort of, like, weird CBT thing on stream now, because of the CBT wizard. Uh... I, I, I've had this, like, this is not funny. This is not funny, but I misheard the lyrics of Jack's theme for the longest time, and I made up, because I can't understand what the fucking singer is saying, because he sounds like... Right. And I, for the longest time, I thought the lyrics were "Go now into the forest," and it just sounded like, like I need to like take a shit in the forest. I, I don't know why it doesn't sound like that. It was go now into the forest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go into the forest. Go for a walk. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see here. Uh. You know, I can't say that I've, like, how does raw pumpkin taste? I don't think I've ever had, like, is it raw pumpkin? What, what does it taste like? Maybe I should just buy a raw pumpkin and eat it on, on stream. It's okay, it's bad. <laughs> Gotta dice it up. Gotta dice it up. I would say that this game has a pretty good uh, slicing system, you know? It's like uh, Metal Gear Revengeance, you know? Um... Okay, t t tell you what, tell you what, let's stop fucking around. Let's start, uh, legitimately start fucking around. I know you guys are gonna cap at me, but I wanna actually do something here. Cause I can only fuck around for so long until I get bored with it. So I'm gonna actually do something kinda crazy. I'm gonna actually make something that I make myself. For, as real food, as real food. Uh, milk steak. No, Jesus. Uh, no, but I'm gonna actually be trying something that I actually do, uh, as real food that I actually cook for myself. Uh, so, this is a bit of a family ingredient. Uh, what it is, it's, um, fuck, what is it? An apple. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Desperate joke. Desperate joke. Okay, I'll, I'll actually make something that I make. Alright, so... Uh, I'm kind of on the spot now, because I do enjoy... I, I enjoy cooking a lot in real life. It's just, I don't like to cook for myself. I like to cook for other people, but... Yeah, for me... Bleh. Bleh. Not a, not a huge fan. Alright, but let's... Let's let's actually make something here that I... That I enjoy doing as, like... Say it's dinner time and I need to cook something. Um... I was gonna like. 
Okay, fine, if I'll actually make something. I'll actually make uh, some super Swedish food. Uh, but this will not fucking work. But I'll try anyway. So, here we go. You can actually play along here. Alright. Alright, so... Here we go. So, we're gonna make something here tonight. And it's it's called uh, Kort of Stroganov. Alright, Super Swedish. All Swedes gonna laugh at me like, Yo, what are you, 12 years old? What are you, fucking stupid? So... Stroganov in Sweden, Stroganov, is not the fucking same thing as you guys in America. Do you guys eat this, like, beefy cream soup? Like, whatever, but not in Sweden, man. And I'll show you how you do this, right? So, you, you would actually need, like, a, a lot of sausage for this. Like, a big, super sausage. But you guys don't have this in America, so we're just gonna have to do it with anything. But really, cheap, cheap hot dogs will do here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But you want this, essentially, and I'm gonna have to improvise a lot here, so... Uh, just... Here we go. It's, it's so disgusting, I don't know what's wrong with it, but... Uh, I'll just try to improvise something here. Alright. There we go. We are not all Americans, dumbass. Yeah, I know there's like one guy from Indonesia watching right now. I'm sorry. Steven, but listen, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, you know, I, I could just do this. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. So, what I like to do when I make stroganoff is I don't like to put everything. So some streets make the mistake when they're making something like this. They don't. They don't. Uh, what is it? They don't brown the meat first, which. Uh, if you have that in, it releases a little bit of flavor. Now, this is a very... Uh, I like it a little... Not too oily, because there's going to be a lot of oil in a sort of creamy mixture here, and I don't like that, so I, wanna, I want some butter. Some butter. Some regular butter. And I'm really taking this seriously, too. I'm not fucking around. Um, there we go. Clarified butter. Whatever. Alright, so, list. Can I tilt the bottle here? Okay, that's <laughs> way too fucking much, but what? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Okay, now I'm just gonna have to like individually put the sausage pieces in. There's a lot of butter on the floor, but that that's 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 what's expected here. Alright. Oh, you should probably salt and pepper this too, obviously, but you know, I, I don't think of that when I'm when I'm doing this shit in a video game, but I'll 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 do it just 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 cuz. Just cuz. See if, you know, how how far I can take this bullshit. Alright. Again, you can follow this recipe along. But I want to recommend it. Because I don't know how... Alright, here we go. Uh, where is... Give me some salt. That's all we need, right? I guess it's going to be a very compromised version of this recipe, but fuck it. Alright, now we need uh, black pepper. Now, when I cook in real life, I like to mix both black and white pepper. Uh, okay. And how we do on the sausage? Everything... Okay, we're gonna turn this around a little bit. There we go. <laughs> white pepper, where you... You guys don't know what white pepper is? Alright, the sausage is being cooked right now. It's a little uneven because the game is treated that way, but what the fuck ever. We're gonna take that away from the stove a little bit. Alright, now what we need what we need here is an onio. Alright. So we need a regular ass onio. Alright. Put that down. There we go. Now, as a kid I hated onio in 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 my recipes, but you know when I'm old and on the verge of turning 55, uh, you know I've realized that hey, it adds a lot. Like I always told my mom, stop putting onions in in the spaghetti, <laughs> you know. And basically she just said, okay, and then she did it anyway, and I didn't realize I was eating onion, you know. There we go. All right, 
Can I just, like, maybe do this? Hang on. And then we just kind of, like, do... Uh. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah! Whatever. Take all the pieces and put it in there. Okay, now I want to keep on browning this mess, right? There we go. Man, I'll tell you what, when we get a VR headset, I'm sure this is gonna be super easy to do, right? Alright, so that's it's being brown right now. Pretty good color, right? Now take that shit off, and here comes... Here comes... The actual stroganoff, right? What, the game's a little loud? Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. Okay, so now... Now, what we need... Is milk. Yeah, that's right. You're like, what the fuck? Yep, that's right. I'm gonna start pouring this bullshit in. Like that. You need a lot of it. Right, and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, don't worry about it, because here's the thing. Now that we got that, we need more black pepper. Because, listen, you can't add too many spices when it comes to this stuff. So we need a little bit more black pepper, right? Fuck that. Here we go. All right. Keep on doing this. Yeah, okay. Now we need a little bit more salt here. Alright, cool. Alright, now, here's the secret ingredients to making a good quart of stroganoff in Sweden, right? You need... Do I not have tomato paste? I gotta settle with ketchup. Hang on, wait a minute. No, th this can't be right. Do I not have, like... Like... Tomato extract, like tomato paste. I guess not. We're gonna have to do with ketchup, but so... Whatever. So here's what we do. We take a little bit of this. Right? Okay. I, I really make this in real life, too, and it, it's pretty good. And then you need mustard. <laughs> you might be like, what the fuck? So, we, here's, in real life, you need a good Dijon mustard for this, right? Dijon mustard is what I like to use. And you don't want to use ketchup. You want to use, like, uh, tomato paste. There we go. It should be more red in real life. I'll use a little bit more for, so for the actual thing here. That, that will do. That will do. All right. Now we're going to put this back and let it let it simmer. All right. Now, uh, tell you what. Tell you what. Let's make this super fucking realistic. Let's make it super realistic here. Uh, we're going to do this as well. I can't believe how much I'm fucking doing for this, but, but where's the where's the water? Where's the uh, where's the tap? Uh, fuck it. Where is it? Uh... Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, this, this is gonna suck. Oh, shit. Smaller pot, please. Do I not have a smaller pot? What is the smallest pot I have? <laughs> this is the smallest pot. Okay. So fucking be it. Okay. There we go. Because if I'm going to do this the right way, I'll, I'll fully commit to it, right? And now, we got that. Now I need rice. Does this game have rice? This game does not have rice. No, come on. They, they, surely this game has just rice. No, it does not. Okay, well, fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, it doesn't have rice. But for the real recipe here, you would need to get some rice, right? Uh... Is this still on? Okay, there we go. So we need, we need to simmer this stuff. We need to simmer this stuff, all right? And you want to reduce it. You want to reduce it. So you keep going with this stuff. And again, you're really supposed to have Dijon mustard and like tomato extract. And at this point, I also like to add a little bit of uh, of cayenne pepper. You might think I'm joking around here, but it's but it's true. I like a little little bit of extra. Now, if you are a fan of uh, of sriracha. So something I've also recommend for this, you know. And uh, at this point, I say uh, bell pepper could really work for this, for sure. 
All right, here we go. Now take this off. Now I don't know how much this is this is reduced, but I I mean I'm I'm gonna say that this is this is looking all right. All right. So let's just say you have rice as well with this, yeah. Joel, do I really eat this? Yeah, you'll see the actual what it actually looks like because this game doesn't treat it really well. So we're gonna plate it up. <laughs> we're gonna plate it up and we're gonna do this. Now I would usually use like a. I wouldn't do this in real life, but you know. Okay, that does not look like what it's supposed to look like. All right, so you got that. Now, in real life, in real life, we are looking at this. Because this game does not do this right. It would look like this with the rice. The, uh, the head of letters question mark is optional here, but... Uh, yeah, that's that's what you do, and it's pretty good. Classic Swedish recipe. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like in in the uh, the frying pan. So, uh, yep. That's that's how you make stroganoff in Sweden, man. That looks terrible. What fucking? How about this? I I I'll microwave an egg. <laughs> now that's food. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 how we make stroganoff in, in Sweden. Uh, now, here's the thing. You know how simple that shit was, right? Could you believe there are still people out there that are so lazy they actually buy spice mixes for stroganoff in Sweden? And I'm like, dude, it's literally, it's literally just like ketchup and mustard at this point. It's like, wh why? Yeah, people, people buy this, and I'm like, dude, you will have everything. <laughs> you have everything already. Yeah, <laughs> the fuck. All right, so that's that's close to enough. I'll I'll make another like Swedish recipe for you. So it's a hot dog soup. Uh, well, no, because the 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 sauce or the consistency should be like you know, I don't know what the word would be, but it, you know, it's like a gravy. Gravy? Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's kind of creamy gravy, you know? Um... This music is so generic. Alright. Alright, so, uh, let's, let's reset this and make a, make a new one. Stroganoff is really popular in Brazil. People like this recipe. People make it with meat and some mushrooms. Yeah, I know stroganoff all across the world is different. Um, but it's weird we make it like that. Any Swedes in chat right now? Throw me some, throw me some recipes at it, cause I, I'm blanking here. I'm blanking here. Palt. I don't actually make palt myself. Tumbra rulle. Suströmming. Billis pom pizza. Shut bullar. Ikea meatballs. Smurgos torta. Uh, shit, let's see here. Um, what could I make here that is like very northern that other Swedes don't eat? And it's very like something I, I eat myself. Um, hmm. Johansson's frestas. I don't think so. <laughs> Kebab Talrik. Uh, t tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you guys what Swedish mac and cheese looks like, right? Swedish mac and cheese, because here in Sweden, we don't use cheese with our mac and cheese. We boil them in milk. You'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, we don't use cheese here, man. We, we... We do this. So you remember the sausage I was talking about, like the super, super massive sausage? Well, same sausage for this, right? Swedish mac and cheese looks like this. Let me get a good, authentic picture that isn't like super, super fancy because that's it's always lying. Food never looks like that, you know. This, this is what sustain Sweden on a, on a regular basis. If you think I'm joking about this, like, do people actually eat this? Yes, absolutely. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's what this is what Swedish mac and cheese looks like. Yeah. That's what it is. Absolutely. Ew. Disgusting. No, I, I, I'm getting hungry just thinking about this, actually, but that's what it is. And um, the uh, the macaronis aren't just boiled in milk. They also have uh, some spice to it that's making it distinctively, you know. But it's not really mac and cheese, honestly. It really isn't, you know. But I'll make it for you. I'll make it for you so you will know. But this is... So in, in Sweden we have home home class. Uh, this is really like I'm really verging on like can I translate this stuff? Like home class in high school in seventh grade they're like all right here's here's how you live on your own you dumb fuck. Um, home class yeah home class, home economics okay yeah in home economics. Even before home economics, every Swede is taught this. When you're like nine or ten, it's like here's how you do it you know because that's how I was taught. You know, so anyway, so we're gonna make this. We're gonna make this bullshit. So first of all, uh, you really need a non-stick pan for this, all right? You really need a non-stick pan because let me tell you something. There's been many fucking times where I've done this recipe, and the milk is burnt to the bottom of the macaronis, and it's like you might as well throw the entire fucking pot out. So get a non-stick fucking big pot. So uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. It's also going to be awkward because there's no macaroni, so I'm going to have to use fusilli here, which is not at all what this is, but whatever. So be it. Uh, actually, I could probably use tortellini, but that would be even more fucked up, actually. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so be it. So be it. Okay. There we go. Now, do this on a low temperature. Low fucking temperature, all right? Uh, it's very awkward to do this, because it's like, it's it's okay in my head, but this is like, I don't know, it just doesn't translate really well. Swedes will know what I'm trying to do here, but... All right. Dude, this is, these are not accurate measurements, by the way, so, you know. <laughs> so, the real recipe that's translated is, is, is skimmed milk. Skimmed milk, I think it's called. Uh, it's skimmed milk, skimmed macaronis, I think it's called, yeah? Alright, so before we do this, we need to put, put some spices in here. Uh, and that would be black pepper. Black pepper and another magic... Magic recipe. Magic spice, I mean. Probably used to do this in the meantime. Now, this is gonna sound insane at some point, but you need to do this. Okay. Uh... Okay. Vad fan heter kryddan på engelska? När man gör stuvade makaron. Vad fan heter det? Uh... Nutmeg. There we go. Ha. Wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. Wait a goddamn second here. How do you guys know what the hell I'm making? Do you also use this in your mac and cheese? Oh, really? So there's some similarities here, huh? There's some similarities. Okay, well, that's, that's boiling. All right. Now, as this is being uh, reduced... It's a bit of a classic technique. You're just putting a little bit of flour in, uh, but that can also make make it a little chunky, which is bad. So, yeah, uh, if it's a little too thick, uh, you fucked it up. <laughs> Don't use too much milk. Uh, mo okay, sweets and chat, Joel. Uh, anyway, now that that's cooking, there's a secret ingredient to this. I mean, I don't know if this is reducing or what the fuck it is, but it should be like a thick consistency. Consist consistency. Um, right. And here's the thing too. You do not want classic recipe in this. You don't want the macaronis. Al dente. Al dente. Al dente. 
You don't want that. You want it to be completely soft and shitty, right? Because uh, that's that's how you fucking fuck it up, and that's more Swedish that way. So uh, you don't want any. You you want it to taste like bland pasta, right? <laughs> that's how you do it. Um, all right. So now that we're done with that. This should be, again, this is very inaccurate what it's supposed to look like. But at this point, uh, let me put it down one more time. What the fuck am I doing trying to teach you guys recipes in Sweden? Uh, at this point, again, it should be very thick. And the macaroni should look like this. And it should have enough nutmeg that it's actually visible on it. Alright? But here's the thing, here's the secret ingredients, and I, I, I did not think, I did not think that this was really, uh, you, you can add a little flour to it, I guess, to make it a little more thick, but the point is, the secret ingredients to making this in Sweden, and I didn't believe it at first, but this is really, you have to do this, and you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck, you need sugar. You actually need sugar to do this. And I know some sweets are going to be like, what? No, Joel, Joel, Joel. You need sugar on this. All right. Don't fucking try to argue with me. You really need a little bit of sugar for the sweetness with the nutmeg and the milk. Uh, it's just just how it is, man. All right. And now with your sausage and all that, uh, I mean, uh, at this point, I can just cook some up, I guess. <laughs> Oh my god, man. All right. Uh, where's my knife? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah just cut up shit. The <laughs> fun and cheese. Yeah, yeah, just get it all in there. Again, I'm going to substitute that shit for that, so you know, and just just put it in, just put it in. Now, at this point, I would freak out in real life because I'm, I'm using, like, no no butter or nothing in the pan, which would be really bad. But, uh, you know, I, I used to cook bacon. I used to cook bacon with, with like, butter or, like, oil. And I'm like, why, why am I doing this shit so fatty anyway? All right, so, uh, yeah, just, just, just get some butter. Where's the butter? Booter. There we go. There we go. Put that shit down. Oh, okay. And we just cooked the sausage here. And then we're gonna plate this bullshit up. Plate it up. Let's see if, let's see if I can pour this out without it look. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's all what we're looking at, but, uh... Get out of there. I mean, good enough, I guess. How are we doing all the sausages here? Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing all right. <laughs> you made four noodles. Okay. So now we got all that shit... This also isn't done yet, but, but but for the sake of this, this, I mean, come on, come on, come on. I just want to get it done. Just want to get it done. See, see, it's very sweet. It's to burn it a little bit. When you're burning the sausage, you know it's really authentic. Like it's got to have that little bit of oh god damn it, you know. So overdone pasta and all that shit. So now that we're done with that, we gotta, we gotta do this, and you know. Burnt, burnt, uh, burnt butter into the thing is very classic too. Okay, so now that we're all done with that, we need ketchup, <laughs> and you gotta s drizzle it over like this, right? You just gotta give it a like a bleh, like that. Okay, good. Okay, now what I like to do with mine, I like to put a lot of mustard in the side, just a little bit of like, like. Uh, there we go. All right. <laughs> there we go. That's your uh, stuva de macaroner of falle korv. And again, that's not what it's supposed to look like. That's not what, what it's supposed to fucking look like in real life. What we're looking at here in real life should look like this. Okay. 
Again, you need you need super big sausage for this, you know. So uh, there we go. That's what it looks like, and uh, that looks worse. Yep, there we go. Now, uh, now, nu blir jag jätteförstyrrad där för nu märker jag att det är en total kulturkrock här. Vad i helvete är det som händer i chatten just nu? Här har jag stött, här har jag stött och lagat både falukorv och stuvade makaroner. Och sen, vad, gjorde jag, vad jag gjorde jag tidigare? Uh, in, innan det här skiten. Uh, jag gjorde... Uh, vad fan gjorde jag? Innan det här. <laughs> Påminn mig. Vad fan höll jag på med? Stroganoff. Jag var stroganoff. Jag gjorde korvstroganoff. Och sen gjorde jag uh, stuvade makaroner och falukorv. Och alla bara i chatten sitter, sitter, sitter och gnäller. Vad i helvete? Här har jag, här har jag suttit hela kvällen och lagat mat med de jävla otacksamma jävla amerikanerna. Så bara, åh vad äckligt, åh fan nej. Alltså det, det är ju, alltså, vad fan. Så här gör vi. Nästa gång, det, det, blir, bara, det blir bara hamburger stream här. Men vi gör det på svenskt sätt, vi gör det på ett svenskt sätt. Vi gör, vi gör hamburgaren utan att, att, att grilla brödet. Och sen vill jag ha uh, Kavlis hamburgerdressing som smakar skit. Och bara pss, smeta på det. Alright, sorry. I, I had to rant this reading about how much I love you guys' appreciation of my food. Um, Alright. <laughs> Okej. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, lägg räksallad på skiten också. Så när Kona skitar ner sig. Vad fan ska du ha räksallad till? Räksallad på typ. Stuvmaka. Fan. Okej, till och med jag tycker det är lite oacceptat. Okej, listen here. Listen. No more, no more, no more. Listen, I can't be ranting. I mean, uh, complimenting you guys in, in Swedish uh, all night. Listen, I need to move on here. Let's look at some of these recipes, man. If there are any. Oh, no. yeah, last time we did this, we couldn't find recipes here, right? Okay. Um, check the computer. Oh, the computer. The computer, right? Okay. Decorations, floors, horror. Oh my god. What is this? Tiles. <laughs> horror. Uh, yeah, that's more. That's more realistic, isn't it? Events. Fourth of July. <gasps> okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a, a, a Fourth of July. 4th of July uh, special here because you guys uh, liked my Swedish food so much that uh, I'm gonna have to repay the favor here and make you some American food, all right? Okay, now I'm gonna make uh, a beloved American classic. A beloved American classic that you guys love to eat. All right, here we go. Fourth of July. America, America. First of all, we need a lot of beer. We need a lot of beer. Give me a hell yeah. We need Bud Light. By the way, I try to look up Bud Light. If I could import Bud Light to Sweden. I can only import Budweiser because Bud Light is a non-export from America. Like they will not ship it internationally. I don't know if that's because it's so good. But uh, I, I, generally, you cannot get a hold of it, which makes make me sad. Uh, I, I, I don't want to use a German beer here. I want to use some Bud Light. Bud Light. There we go. There we go. Give me a hell yeah. All right. First of all, I need to put back the uh, the theme here because it's Fourth of July, October first. Well, that's not what we what, what we want to do. Hell yeah! All right, so what we're gonna be making tonight uh, for the American special? Uh, 
We're gonna make uh, let's let's see here what we could do here. Uh, all right, fine. So be it. So be it. So be it. We're gonna make some some American stuff. So we need some bread. Actually, they had like hamburger buns. Did they not? Like regular ass hamburger buns. I think it did. Yeah. But where is, where is that in terms of like the name? Uh, is it just but burger bun? Here we go, burger bun. There we go. There we go. There we go. And one more. Okay, well let's let's start cooking, man. <laughs> Oops. Uh, where is it? There we go. All right. Make some burgers. Can I not get like a bottom bun, by the way? <laughs> Burger bun. Like I want the bottom here, but uh, whatever. All right. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a serious hamburger here. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna slice this up. Wait, no, <laughs> I'm not done yet. There we go. And then we. So, how do you guys feel about? Uh, how do you guys feel about? Uh, there goes my beer. Uh, about tomatoes on a burger. I I feel a little. I could do without it. I I don't care. Is it the fucking stem? Ew. I I I feel that tomatoes just ruin a good burger. Honestly, I never want tomatoes because it's just like it makes it soggy, <laughs> soggy. You know. All right. Well, that's all now. Let's uh. So if you're making a good burger, you probably don't need anything in the pan. Personally, because the burger should be fat enough to just con give its own juices to like cook with. Uh, you don't need anything else. I don't know if it's the same in America, but when I make hamburgers, for me, I uh, I don't fucking get anything else in the frying pan. Uh, so when I was when I was growing up, my dad taught me the extremely incorrect, and he still does this. He he will press on a burger. And I, don't, I, I never understood why. It's like, you gotta press it. <laughs> um, don't know why people do that. Don't know why people do that. But some, some, some just do. Some just do. I will not understand why, but... I think it's to, like, make it cook quicker or whatever. But I'm like, that's where the juices come from, man. So, again, when I'm cooking with... Just like how I said before, I like to cook with both black and white pepper. Um... But, uh, you know, it doesn't re really make that much of a difference, but, uh, you know. Okay, well, we're gonna do this, because I just remembered I need my spatula here. Unrelated, but I do not trust metal spatulas. They gotta be plastic, and they gotta be, like, shitty Ikea version, you know. Because I'm, I'm doing a bit of a Swedish twist on this. I'm cooking the burger like I would have cooked the burger, you know. Wherever the fuck that might... Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Can I quickly flip it? Oh. Pfft. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, we're cooking with gas now. Uh. Uh. There we go. Actually, you know what? I'm making this fucking burger. I I make it my way. All right. All right. So so fucking no tomatoes, please. Fuck tomatoes. I don't like it. But what I do like, what I do like is uh, pickles on my burger. Uh, that's some people's like turn off. They're like, ew, fucking pickles. But uh, pickles annihilate tomatoes in terms of flavor. I think on a burger. But the thing is. What I like to do is a little bit of technique that I use when I'm doing this stuff. I, uh, I personally, this this bothers me, the fact that it's still on the plate, like, 
being half cooked, but whatever, not in this game. Uh, what I like to do in real life, I like to put down a towel <laughs> and I like to put my pickles on it to dry them out. Um, this sounds really stupid, but I go the extra step because when I take the pickles out of the fucking jar, they're so wet that uh, it's gonna soak into the bun, and when you're done and you're gonna eat the burger, you're gonna take your hand on the bur burger and you lift it up and it's just gonna go. Pfft. It's gonna be just moist as fuck. If you've ever wondered what 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 makes like a good good burger, it's the fact that it's not dripping. You know, uh, I hate I hate drip. All right, I hate that shit. You know, I like my burger moist, but I don't like my buns moist. So. That's an extra step that this game does probably not provide, but we can check anyway, just in case. Uh, and it does not, but the closest thing would be like <laughs> a cucumber. Uh, and uh, we're just gonna have to improvise and, and do that. <laughs> I mean, pickles are cucumbers, but you know, I would need to like put this in brine, but whatever, whatever, for the, si for the sake of this. Let's just let's just roll with this, all right? Okay, now let's start planning this up. <laughs> all right. Oh, we need the cheese, absolutely. So uh, here's something important that I I really feel strong about. Um, you need shitty processed cheese when you're making burgers. I don't know why people say like, no, that's so bad for you. I'm like, well, stop eating fucking burgers then. You know, you need a cheapo, cheap shit burger. Like when people put like Gouda cheese, no, you need cheapness. All right. I'm just gonna have to like improvise here and, and do, uh, I don't know how I would do this. <laughs> Just a big block of cheese. <laughs> Fuck it, alright. Can I just put it down and just like... There we go, okay, that's that's more more, more up to speed, alright. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... The, you would need to melt this down, you know? And what I like to do... To melt this shit down and you guys are gonna crucify me for saying this but what i honestly like to do is i just take the the recently uh, fried burger uh patty i put the single on it and i just throw it in the microwave for like 20 seconds on high i know you guys are like what the fuck steam it with like you know <sighs> it doesn't fucking matter all right it doesn't fucking matter I know you guys do the same in chat, and I know you guys are on your high horse being like, what? Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You could either just put it directly on, but it it depends on the situation, all right? Uh, you could just directly put it on, too, but for an even... For an even, like, you can just microwave it real quickly, but, I mean, yeah, yeah. You, you I, I know what you guys are saying. I know what you guys are saying. I know what you guys are saying. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay would hit you with a frying pan right on the spot. I don't think Gordon Ramsay enjoys cooking food. Like, I've had this theory for a while, but the guy's such... It's like he's extracted all the joy out of cooking, and it just has become this, like, screaming art form of anger, you know? Like, I've never seen Gordon Ramsay happy. <laughs> like, just, this food is great. Like, oh man, I love cooking. It's just such joy to share with others. He's always just going, you fucking donkey. Like, chill out, dick. All right, anyway, so we have a burger bun here. And now, obviously you would toast this too. But what I like to do when I toast my burgers is I, uh, I use a lot of butter in the frying pan, right then. Because I've noticed that if you use a lot of butter when you do it, a lot of butter, you get that kind of like fast food y kind of thing. So you just put a shit ton of butter so it soaks in, you know. But, uh, alright, let's just uh, move on here. Huh? Alright, so let's, let's see if I can plate this up. This is really gonna be 
hard to do, but holy shit, I, I forgot the, the secret sauce. The motherfucking secret sauce. I can't believe this. This is what makes the fucking burger. Holy shit balls. All right. Well, let me let me let me show you how you do this, right? So, get this. Don't don't get the fucking pre-made sauces from the store. It's just meant to control your mind. <laughs> what you want is is good old mayonnaise, which the game doesn't have. There's no fucking mayonnaise in this game. Uh Okay, uh I guess we're going to have to make raw mayonnaise. We're going to have to make raw mayonnaise here from scratch. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. All right. Well, if you never made mayonnaise, let me let me let me teach you, all right? So you got to crack an egg. But for the sake of this, you blend an egg. Good. And now you're done with that. Fuck it. So, alright. If you really want to be desperate about this, just add... My, my recipe for secret sauce is... is uh, it's super simple. Super fucking simple. Relish. Right? This is super simple. Relish, ketchup, mustard, mayo. A uh, little bit of... Uh, I actually use a little bit of garlic powder. I use black pepper, salt, and I add a little bit of the secret ingredients, uh, chili powder. Right. So uh, you just mix that together, spoon, blah 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 blah, and then when it's like got that pink hue to it, good. You're you're done. You're done. Uh, and uh, spread that around. Spread. Okay. Here's here's something important. Let's talk burgers. So how do you how, what? Let me know how, how wrong I am about this. How I like to do this. But this is bottom one. Let's say this is toasted. What I like to do... What I like to do... If... Oh my god, I totally forgot about something. Fucking iceberg lettuce. Does this game have lettuce? The game does not have lettuce. What is the closest thing to lettuce? A big head of lettuce. Uh... Cabbage. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, don't have that either. Uh, so instead, I'm going to improvise and use. Uh, God, I don't even know what, what could be. Iceberg. Or iceberg, of course. Uh. <laughs> I can't find something that's good enough to replace. I'm gonna have to use pumpkin. I'm gonna just have to use a pumpkin on this because, yep, that's just how it be. Okay, whatever. It's ju it's just how it be these days. <sighs> oh, what the hell? Okay, fuck this. You get what I try to do. So here's what I do, right? Bun, iceberg lettuce, this guy right here, which is too hot to touch right now. Which, what the fuck, my spatula. There we go. It's so complicated. God. No, no, put, put that, put that. This is very complicated. Come on. This is some co-op shit. Co-op burger. Fucking just get a plate instead. Alright. There we go. Boom. I shouldn't be throwing all my, my tools around because I keep forgetting where they are, but... Okay. Uh, where's my my burg? That's my burg. So at this point, there, sh there should be... There should be iceberg lettuce on there now, but... Uh, you know... Fuck. Well, you know, a five second rule, whatever. Wait, what the? Well, you know, it, it's clean in here. It's clean. Okay. Is the bun upside down? I can't tell. What, what the fuck ever. Okay. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. Yes, okay, good, good, good enough. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's get the chatter on here. So fucking complicated. <laughs> okay, so here's what I do now, right? I take my secret sauce and I smear it on this now. And then pickles, right? <laughs> trying my, I'm really trying my best to. Okay. Okay, and now, now, we. And there we go. Uh, that's. Can I? Can I maybe just? <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> okay. Whatever. Well, uh, that's a burger, everybody. Uh, happy 4th of July. Not too early. All right, well, let me tell you something. Um, I sometimes do what I refer to as, a, as like a school burger. Um, not because I ate these at school, because when I was when I was coming home from like 5th or 6th grade, my parents would be working, and I just had to get, get um, some food in me, you know, at like 3, 4 p.m. or whatever. And here's what I would do. I can't really like tell you like what makes it so great. I guess it's nostalgia, but it was basically the equivalent of. Well, let me just tell you. So you would take your burger. I already have everything plated here. Uh, you take your burger, fry that up, right? Let me let me show you what what this is. Or you know, fuck. Let me just explain it. Okay. So all this is is frozen fries into the oven keep them kind of burnt they're not that good right they gotta be wavy fries they gotta be these fries these kind of fries yeah. I don't know if these have a special name but they have to be fucking wavy fries right cheap grocery store wavy fries look like this right put them in the oven here's the thing and then you want to uh, fry up is very close. Hang on. Uh, find the best one. I might have to ask the Swedes here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so you want you want your burger to be this special kind of brand that's super classic in Sweden. You want. Uh, this is gonna be impossible for you guys, but whatever. <laughs> you want scones, humbug in it, right? You don't want that other shit. You want specifically Swedish frozen burgers, right? Right? You fry one of these suckers up. Okay? We're almost done with the recipe. You might be like, what? Already? What the fuck? Okay. So you have your hamburger. Just have your hamburger. And keep it a little, like, like overdone, too, you know? And here's the thing. You want no bun so now that you put your oven fries you have your hamburger right you are nearly complete plate that up now here's here's what you do you're almost done with this right now what you want is you want a lot of cucumbers a lot of cucumbers and now we're almost done now you want some ketchup. Now you want some ketchup. On the side over here. Plate that up and boom. You have a Joel School Burger. I will eat these many times. Alright. I, I fucking love this stuff. Uh, there you go. Uh, sounds horrible. Well, fucking sustain me. Sustain me, alright. And you know what? You know what? You know what the worst thing about this is? You might be like, this is disgusting. This is like, what What the hell? To this day, I sometimes make this. Alright? Because here's the thing. I, I still love cucumbers. I've always loved cucumbers. And I'm like, this is pretty pretty damn good. Um, now, here's the thing. It, you, can, you can add a variety on this. Take this shit out. Take that shit out. 
and buy some uh, uh, this is like real real cooking hour bullshit because it it's super like local <laughs> you know uh, so get some get some crispies get some crispies all right get your crispy get your crispy get your Swedish crispy right Right, shuck those in the oven, right? And boom, you have a whole new recipe. But same fucking thing with the cucumbers. But take out the ketchup. Oh fuck! Well, no, wait. let me add my crispy again. So now you have reacquired my crispy. All right, now here's what you here's what you do, right? Uh, you just just buy a bunch of like aioli sauce and you just in the corner, and then boom, you have another whole meal. All right. Uh, now here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing with cooking for me. Cooking, this is like honest cooking. I don't know how I want to describe this, but the, this is food that I'm like, I want to be done with this quick, and I don't want to impress myself. This is stuff that sustains me, and I don't want to. I do not want to like impress anybody. However, when I make food for other people, this shit is unacceptable. I would never subject anyone else to this garbage cooking. But for others, I'll be like, Yo, listen, here's what you do. These fries, we're gonna put them in the refrigerator a, a day before. You saw the other day, the ne next day, these fries can have a better consistency. Like, I, I hate cooking for myself, but for others, I will go out of my way to fucking do it, right? Uh, so th these, these like, crispies and cucumbers and all this crap, this is honest cooking that I just make for myself because I'm just trying to, like, live, and it's cheap. But <laughs> for other people, I'm like, dude, I will go out of my way. Um... But, uh, yeah, uh, there was no real point to this. It was just me telling you about bullshit. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. How can you criticize my school burgers and all this prep, prep, when you guys eat, like, Kraft Mac and cheese? And, what are they called? Hot Pockets. All right? All right, what is what is with this hypocrisy? This pizza roll, American pizza roll diet. All right, all right. I need to confront you guys about this. Um, fuck you, Joel. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, before before we move on here, uh, I'm, I'm done with cooking simulators, you know. Um, I have told you, I have told people about this before, but I'll tell you again. Uh, we don't have hot pockets in Sweden. We have these pan pizzas that are called billies. Now, uh, I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes this stuff is okay. Because you're like, dude, it's 3 a.m. I just woke up. Put that shit in the microwave, boom. These are not good. They're, like, sweaty, and they're, like, cheap, and, you know. But sometimes you're just like, all right, I can go for one. But, like, you're you're basically getting getting this in the in the microwave, which is, you know, not, not amazing. Not amazing. Blah, 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 blah. But what really sells this for me is the fact that Billy's is meant to be an American product, right? It's really trying to, like, get that, like, 50s kind of, like... Whoa, America shit, right? And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why this has been like this, but they keep making these flavors. This is exclusively Swedish, by the way. And they're trying to be like, whoa, bacon cheeseburger. And like, not even you guys in America would call this a pan pizza. So I don't understand why they're adamantly being like, whoa. They're really trying to catch up on the, you know... Like, they even try to do shit like this. I'm not even kidding. Like, Billy's Mac and Cheese Pizza. Like, I mean, even if you guys, Americans and stuff, like, you guys would be, like, doing a double take. Like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Out of all these, I think the pepperoni one is all right. But, I mean, they're not they're not amazing. I also like this one. This this one is actually okay because it's, uh, it's got black olives and corn on it. But, um... Yeah, generally not the best, but it's it's been many 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 nights where I'm just like I just need need some food. But the funniest thing about it is that in 2008 to nine, because 
in Sweden, this is like the the food of every every twelve year old. And when they go to land parties, they don't want to cook. They just want to get some food. So what Billy started doing, uh, and this is not fabrication or a joke, they started appeal to the gamers. So they started doing these late pizzas. Uh, this is not a fucking joke or any exaggeration. Uh, they started doing this these gamer pizzas to really try like capitalize on on every eleven year old that's like, whoa, I'm a gamer, you know. So that was that was a funny funny thing to look at the stores and all that. But it turns out this this pizza was actually really good. But it made me really it, it made me avoid the the actual product because I'm like, dude, this is this is embarrassing to look at, you know. Leet pizza. Um, let's let's see if there's any other funny stuff. Uh, this this one is just internally funny for me because uh, <laughs> you know e every country out there has their own uh, like sport legends or like soccer or ice hockey legends, right? And they they advertise bread and 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 energy drinks and all that. And we have a soccer player in, in Sweden that is totally unfamiliar to you guys, but whatever. The point. I, I just thought this was funny to bring up. Alright. I, I don't know what this is implying. You just look in there at it. But it looks... <laughs> it looks like he personally made it, you know. Fan jävla slåtan. You know, hey, why not? Why not? Uh, I see. Oh yeah. By the way, if you want to talk about like uh, cultural, uh, what was the word? Cultural, cultural like inaccuracy or whatever you want to call it. Like you condense a whole country into like just a product, like how we did with B Billy's pan pizza. Uh, we have the the we have the opposite. We have the opposite, where we we fucked Russia too, right? So, same company makes Russian pierogies in the same format, and uh, it's pretty damn funny, uh, because you have basically a Cold War hot food, right? You're, you're going from American pizza into Russian uh, pierogi. Now, here in Sweden, we like to refer the, to these uh, as, uh, like, uh, pussy slits. <laughs> Cause, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I didn't make up the fucking term, but I'm saying uh, they uh, they don't taste that great, but uh, they they made some advertisement a long time ago where like they 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 were competing with each other, but uh, this one was also like gamer e I think like they they tried to do some something gamer related with it, but. Uh, yeah, these weren't like, I mean, again, I, I've li I've lived on these when, in my youth, but I I can't eat them these days, man. I'm just like, dude, I I just can't. But you want to know something really funny? Is that this is a Russian pierogi product, and yet we infused it with Mexican stuff. So this is a really international Frankenstein. Look at this. You have a Russian meat pie with Mexican influence to it. So uh. <laughs> It's, my god, man. That's just how tiny the world is. Do uh, you want something real funny, too? Uh, so, again, this is very... Uh, oh, this is just funny, too. Look at this. Hey, you want to you wanna be an athlete? Eat some Gorbies. Some 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 Gorbies. That'll really get, get you... Uh, get you uh, into the Olympics. But... Uh, yeah, uh, check this out. Some really bizarre shit years ago. Uh, where they... Uh, they uh, essentially... Gave people bandanas <laughs> for buying their pan pizzas. I'm talking about, uh, not Corby's, but Billy's. Uh, they, <laughs> they were giving out free bandanas. Uh... If you bought 10 of these, you would get a free bandana. And fuck, I I I I should have gone I should have done that, man. I should have Look, you get a band Oh, no, it was Gorby's, I think. 
If you want to join a gang, you got to buy some frozen pierogies. You can get a bandana. <laughs> so how many bandanas do I have? Shit. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. So you would... This is what... <laughs> what? What the fuck? No way. Okay, well, that's that's what it looked like. And the funniest thing about this, is, I, I'm gonna move on now, but um, I honestly didn't buy this product because I was afraid they would ask me, "Would you like a bandana?" I'm like, "No, please." I know I'm eating like food for children, but please, I don't, I don't want it. And well, they weren't asking me, but the the ten pack of these would contain a free bandana, and it would have been awkward because I'm like, I don't want to throw it away, but I also don't want it. So what do I do with it? So I actually avoided buying their products to just be like, no, I, I don't want to have this debate in my head where I'm like, I have to make a decision, you know. So uh, guys, I have a I have a insane request. Can someone please? I, I know this, this is this is a heavy request. Can someone please get the uh, Billy's Pan Pizza Bandana onto Hulk Hogan? It will. It, I will be so fucking happy because like it will be such an insane clash of comedy. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it makes me sad that I'm the only one talking about Billy's Pan Pizza on stream right now. But, uh, hey, sponsor me. Sponsor me, everybody. S sponsor me, Billy's. Let's, br let's bring Billy's Pan Pizza to America, right? Come on, I can be your med mediator. I can be your ambassador for Swedish culture, you know? Because I, I speak English, barely, but I can, I can present this product and be like, you know, hey... It's a Swedish culture in a little bag. Uh, oh, fuck, sorry. But I will say this one thing, and this image pops in my head. I'm soon going to switch over to Banjo-Kazooie here. But sometimes, when I pass the frozen section on the stores, there's an image in my head that pops up every time when I see the billies. And it's funny, again, only to me, but I see this in my head. And I just start cracking up. And people think I'm a madman at the store. But when I see Billy's Pan Pizza in my head, I see this. And it's really bad. It's really bad. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, now I've talked about Billy's. And I've talked about Billy's before on stream, but... It's just a very internal thing that I don't get to talk enough about, you know? Uh, so, hey, there we go. Anyway, we're going to move on to Banner Kazooie here. I'll be right back. Sit tight. More games coming up. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know it. <sighs> oh, God. You know, on a sad note, though, I will say this. Because... Uh, Van Darkholm started streaming on Twitch as of late, as you know. Uh, which makes me really happy. Because, you know, I'm a big fan of Gachi Muchi. Been for years. And it's incredible that the guy streams on Twitch now. But I really secretly wanted... Uh, and this, this, is, this is an actual sad note. But it, it is such a tragedy that, that Billy passed a few years ago now. I think he passed... Was, was it two years ago now? Two thousand seventeen. Yeah, but oh three years ago, Jesus. I I had this thought the other day, and this is like this is not to be like ha 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 funny, but it actually it would have been great if in twenty twenty we could have had Van Darkholm and Billy Harrington like doing a co op stream. I it would have just been like holy shit. You know. But that's how it is sometimes in life. But imagine how great that would have been. That would have been great. Imagine like Billy Harrington and Van Dork on playing Battletoads co-op. Like just fucking. Oh my god. 
Well, well, it's how it be. So tonight, when I dig into my fridge and I have a Billy's pan pizza, I'll uh, I'll think of of good old Billy, you know, <laughs> good old Anarchy, you know. But on a, on a more lighter note, uh, that's my that's my cooking simulator stream. Pretty fun. If you actually try to make the food that I made, the stroganoff and the uh, skimmed macaronis, uh, I will take no liability if you fuck up and burn down the kitchen. Just so you know. But have fun, have fun, and probably look up a real recipe and not follow my instructions. So, you know. Anyway, I'll be right back. Sit tight. Bandit Kazooie coming up. Don't go nowhere. Yeah. Holy shit, you guys work quick. What the fuck? From I'm Solid Snack, real quick. Yo. Fucking MVP. Holy shit. That's, that's fucking, that's fucking incredible. That is fucking inc holy shit. I think I'm just gonna change my, 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 my profile picture on Twitch and Twitter and all that shit to just Hulk Hogan with Billy's Pan Pizza on his fucking head. Oh, that's, that's genius. Oh my god, that is, that is a fucking amazing picture. Holy crap. <sighs> this can only be better. If you uh, have a mug t-shirt on Hogan uh, or a uh, mug t-shirt on Hogan and you also add uh, Gunner Gaming Glasses to them. Gunner Gaming Glasses, mug t-shirt, and uh, what, el what else? What else would you need? Maybe a white monster, white monster or Pepsi Max, all right. At that point, and 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 have like Lidl pants, all right. A, a, a Lidl necklace, yeah. Okay. Oh my God, I want I want to see this abomination, all right. Don't draw it, don't draw it. Just Photoshop it. Make it look bad, all right. Don't don't think too much about it. Just make up bullshit, you know. All right. Uh, so sorry, the requests are heavy, but. Uh, 